Hello and welcome to all students. In this lecture, we learn about uh, some problems on variance and standard deviation. In the previous problem, we defined what is mean by variance and what is mean by standard deviation. Also, in the previous lecture, we solved some problems based on variance and standard deviation so in this lecture we solve uh, problems on variance and standard deviation for grouped frequency distribution okay in the previous lecture we defined what is mean by variance what is mean by and uh, after that we have written the formula for variance we have written the formula for standard deviation then we solve some problems on uh, variance and standard deviation so we remember that so we see the formula for variance uh, if so definition of variance is if the variate x takes values x1 x2 xn with respect with respect to frequencies f1 f2 fn then the variance of x is defined as variance of x is equal to summation over i equal to 1 to n fi into bracket xi minus x bar bracket square divided by summation fi i over 1 to n so here x bar is arithmetic mean of the variate x and the standard deviation the positive square root of variance is defined as the standard deviation sd of x and is denoted by sigma x and is defined as sigma x is equal to square root of summation fi xi minus x bar square i runs from 1 to n divided by summation fi i equal to 1 to n so all these formulae we have seen in the last lecture uh, similarly we have uh, seen uh, there is some results variance of x is equal to summation uh, fi xi square i equal to 1 to n whole divided by summation fi i equal to 1 to n minus x bar square so this result also we saw in the last lecture we just overlook about all these results so variance of x is equal to summation fi x i square i equal to 1 to n and n means summation of frequencies so and minus x bar square therefore uh, sigma x is nothing but the square root of variance so x bar is arithmetic mean of x okay also we saw the results for x bar x bar means uh, arithmetic mean of the given frequency or uh, of the given data uh, if we have frequency distribution then x bar is equal to summation fi xi i equal to 1 to n whole divided by summation fi i equal to i runs from 1 to n so these are the some formulae for okay and we note that to calculate the variance variance we need to calculate the summation summation fi summation fi xi summation fi xi square okay and for that let us solve some problems now question number three question number one and two we have solved in the previous lecture calculate the variance and standard deviation for the following group of frequency distribution okay so we have given a group of frequency distribution class intervals and corresponding frequencies so class interval from 0 to 20 and having frequency 1 class interval from 20 to 40 with frequency 3 class interval from 40 to 60 with frequency is 40 sorry frequency is uh, 4 and class interval from 60 to 80 having frequency 2 so while solving this problem what we have to do we see here we know that if n is equal to summation f then 
mean x bar is equal to summation fx upon n that we know the formula for arithmetic mean now formula for variance of x is summation fx square upon n minus x bar square so first of all we calculate the arithmetic mean x bar in above formula to calculate variance and standard deviation we need value of x so we need value of x so what is the value of x in grouped frequency distribution the value of x is the class mark of group interval okay class mark of class interval so how to calculate class mark we will calculate here first here we find all class marks of all class intervals so class mark of class interval 0 to 20 is equal to 0 plus 20 upon 2 is equal to 20 by 2 is equal to 10 so class mark of the class interval 0 to 20 is 10 class mark of the class interval 20 to 40 is equal to 20 plus 40 upon 2 is equal to 60 upon 2 and is equal to 30 class mark of class interval 40 to 60 is equal to 40 plus 60 upon 2 and is equal to 100 upon 2 is equal to 50 so in this way we have calculated all the class marks of all class intervals and these class marks are nothing but the values of x and the class in class mark of the class interval 60 to 80 is equal to 60 plus 80 upon 2 is equal to 140 upon 2 and it is equal to 70 now we prepare the table as follows class interval corresponding class marks class marks and corresponding frequency of class and uh, corresponding value of x square then we write the apex value of apex then we write the apex square okay the class interval 0 to 20 whose class mark is 10 means value of x corresponding frequency of class is 1 corresponding value of x square is 100 corresponding value of fx is 10 and corresponding value of fx square is 100 so similarly for the class interval 20 to 40 we write class mark 30 frequency 3 value of x square is 900 value of apex is 90 and value of apex square is 200 sorry 2700 so in this way our next class interval is from 40 to 60 having class mark 50 frequency 4 value of x square is 2500 value of apex is 200 and value of apex square is 10,000 next class interval 60 to 80 and next class sorry and next is a total value so total of frequency is 10 total of values of apex is 440 and total of values of apex square is 22,600 okay so therefore from the above table we can write value of n n means summation of frequencies and it is equal to 10 summation of fx is equal to 400 and 40, 40. summation of fx square is 22600 and x bar is equal to summation fx upon n is equal to 440 upon 10 is equal to 44 now we can find the value of variance so variance of x is equal to summation fx square upon n minus x bar square and it is equal to summation fx square is 22600 upon 10 minus 44 square and if we do the calculation it is equal to 2260 minus 1936 and the value of variance of x is equal to 324 
सो वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ वी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इज डिनोटेड बाय द नोटेशन सिग्मा एक्स एंड इट इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ वेरियंस एंड वेरियंस इज थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर सो इट इज इक्वल टू एटीन सो स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इज एटीन ओके सो इन दिस वे वी कैन राइट और वी कैन फाइंड वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन फॉर गिवन ग्रुप फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नाउ लेटस टेक वन होमवर्क फॉर यू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कैलकुलेट द वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो क्लास इंटरवल्स एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रिक्वेंसीज आर गिवन टू यू यू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन for this grouped frequency distribution okay and if you have any problem you can contact me okay and uh, thank you thank you very much for paying attention thank you